Let's talk cars right now. George Volman, the Automotive Insider from Volman Ford. Uh, George, first your reaction to news that the Volt might only go 25 miles in cold weather. Well, that's, uh, that's classic electrical issues, as you just said. You know, you, you, you talked about the battery in a, in a digital camera only yep. lasting so much when it's cold. And those are issues that are going to have to be, you know, I mean, once again, the customer is going to go back to the price of the vehicle, and they're going to say, nope, I'm, I'm going to take a pass. We're going to wait. And, and waiting is not good for the Volt. All right. And would you buy General Motors uh, shares at $134 a share? That's the number we're hearing that you would that the IPO would have to be at if the government were to be paid back. Well, I think the way I would couch that is I'd take a look at uh, what Ford shares are, and they're doing well, are selling for, and then compare it against that number, and that's a pretty easy answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. VolmanFord.com or the TheAutomotiveInsider.com is where you can find George Bolvin. Farrell, Cheryl Freeborough, Hyundai of Lansing and the Freeboro Automotive Group. Good morning to you. Good morning, Michael. Um, we're talking about uh, the auto business and also the uh, sales for the month of September, which are going to be announced, I guess, later today or tomorrow. But we're told it's going to be a pretty good increase from September of last year. Was September a good month for you? September last year wasn't bad. Um, it was, you know, it, we're doing better than we did last year, definitely. Um, but there's still there's still a little bit light, and I've heard that people are starting to shop again. Mm -hmm. um, and I've heard they're a little bit light around town, but everybody's going to be doing better than they did last year, definitely. Okay, yeah. that is very good news yeah. from you, Cheryl Freebro. Congratulations there at Hyundai of Lansing and the Freeboro Automotive Group and uh, on Saginaw Highway near the Lansing Mall. We'll talk again very soon. She has pre-owned vehicles there, too, like the one I'm driving. Right out front, the Chevy Malibu. Scott Comar in Grand Rapids, Chrysler dealer at uh, Harold Ziegler, is on the other end of our line. Is it true for you? Was this September a very, very good month compared to last September? Good morning. Uh, definitely this year we're seeing an increase versus last year. We've, uh, we've got a lot more product on the ground, and, and uh, especially all the new uh, O11 Grand Cherokees are real hot, so this new product from Chrysler is doing very well. Edmunds.com is saying that September's seasonally adjusted annualized uh, rate will be about $11.47 million. That's up from uh, August even. So you're seeing maybe an upward trend? Well, we're certainly seeing that. Also, remember, there's about 25% fewer dealers uh, after all the uh, uh, everything. So you take that $11.4 million and uh, uh, divide it out by fewer dealers. It, for us, it feels more like a $14 million, sir. Are we ever going to get back to $16 million units? Oh, I'm sure we will. There's a lot of people in this country. There's a lot of really great product coming, whether it's, you know, like you were talking about with that Volt, whether that's the answer or not. There's a lot of great new ideas and products coming. I think people are going to want to do that and get into these higher mileage and some of the technology that's out there is really cool. We're glad to hear good news for the auto business. Scott Comar in Grand Rapids there at Harold Ziegler, and we'll talk again soon. Jeff Crippen from the Lansing area who sells all sorts of different cars, but he sells a lot of Buicks, and if you drive around the state capitol, you'll see a load of Buicks. How was uh, September for you, sir? Good, Michael. Good morning. How are you today? Great. And if this news is true, that the uh, September was a very good month compared to last September, we're in good shape, huh? Yeah, you know what? Uh, I mean, this whole year, there's surely more more and more customers out and about and taking a look at the vehicles. And you know, as you mentioned, uh, the locally built products, the Buick Enclave and the GMC Acadia, you know, continue to do very, very well in the marketplace. Do you have to uh, use a lot of incentives at this stage to sell cars, or are people just returning to the market? It's a combination of both. Uh, there's surely people returning to the market just on their own, and, and all the manufacturers, GM, Mazda, and Volvo, will continue to have some pretty good incentives for the consumers. In addition to Buick, how many nameplates do you sell? We have Buick, and we have GMC, Mazda, and Volvo. So we have a total of four plus our pre-owned department. That's a diverse package for sure for Jeff Crippen. The news is good from the automotive dealers across the state of Michigan. Sales are up in September, much better than last September. We're on our way back, let's hope. Uh, we'll be back with the market report and more at 35 after the hour. It's Michael Patrick Shields. We have our foot on the gas, although if the Chevy Volt uh, comes out, we won't be able to say having your foot on the gas like I did earlier. You'll have to say, I guess, on the accelerator because it'll be battery-powered, as we understand it. Eric Carter is with us from Andrews Chevrolet in, uh, where is it, Mason? Mason, Michigan. Nice to talk to you. That's a nice small-town America there, isn't it? It is. Very nice town. The uh, Chevy Volt, we understand, could be able to travel as far as 50 miles on an electric charge before the gas-powered engine kicks in if you drive 
miserly. That's according to new testing out of Detroit. But in cold climates, maybe only 25 miles on a single charge. Have you? What do you make of that? Does that does that uh, hurt the image of the Chevy Volt? Well, I think it's going to be a very minimal vehicle in terms of people that are going to have one anyways. It's really? going to be a metro car. I don't believe you're going to see a lot of that those vehicles running around in uh, rural areas. Oh, okay. So it, it's a city car, basically, where you don't need to go more than 25 miles if it's, uh, let's say, you know, 10 degrees outside. That's what uh, my take on it is. Oh, okay. Will you be selling them anytime soon? No. No. Unfortunately, uh, we're one of the wind-down dealers. GM took my franchise from me. So I won't uh, be getting that product, but the first bolts are going to be out on the West Coast. Don't know if you'll see very many of them, even in Michigan, the first year that they're out. Uh, maybe a handful. Uh, might see some more following year. You going to stay open? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're going to continue on. Uh, we've been there for 40 years, and we've got a very good following, very good customer base. Don't plan on going anywhere. I've got a family to support and bills to pay, just like everybody else. The uh, word from Edmunds.com is that September was a pretty darn good month for the auto business, much better than last September. Was it that way for you, too, in terms of sales? No, no. Um, I don't think Edmunds looked at Michigan too uh, closely in those figures. Uh, you know, it was an okay month. Um, wasn't anything outstanding, but uh, right now with Michigan's economy and the automotive industry, not looking to set records right now. Um, what percentage of cars do you sell new versus used? Well, that's hard to say because uh, with what I mentioned being a wind-down dealer, yeah. new car sales have been pretty non-existent for me. Uh, GM let me keep my ship franchise until this October next month. Uh, however, they were not allowing me to order new 2010 products. Yeah. So they said I could have my franchise, but don't sell any vehicles for me. I was able to get some from other dealers and the remaining stock I had, so it's kind of uh, hard to give you a, a figure of new to used. I guess you won't be buying any of that GM stock on the IPO if it's $134 a share, as we hear it would have to be to pay back the governor, huh? <laughs> no, governor. not at all. Okay. Not at all. They, uh, they need to do some changing before, uh, before they uh, look appealing to me. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks for hanging in there, though, Eric Harder at Andrew Chevrolet in Mason.